Hello humans and welcome to episode 31 of Chef Mike Does Stuff. I of course am Chef Mike because it says so right here on my chef coat and the paperwork to change my name to Bacon Lover 84 has not went through yet. So we're gonna stick with Chef Mike. Today we are going to clean out Chef Mike's fridge. Uh, so I'm a consultant so I have a lot of extra ingredients laying around and instead of going out and buying stuff and doing new things, I'm literally cleaning out the fridge today. But I'm gonna use couscous as the base. The name's so nice or food so nice named it a couple times. I don't know what the saying really is, but we're gonna use couscous as the base, which if you don't know what it is, it's pasta. It's little tiny little crumbles of pasta. That's all it is. It's made out of wheat, just like pasta very neutral so we are going to throw in a bunch of these leftover ingredients that i have and hopefully make something delicious I might cut my finger who knows if you are a brand uh that has food stuff beverage stuff or equipment and you'd like to work with your pal chef mike send me an email at chef mike does stuff at gmail.com and we can certainly do some awesome things i actually have super secret things that hopefully pan out in the works but you never know and then for all of you supporters out there thank you once again for liking sharing subscribing engaging in my content i love all of your your comments i love when you retweet things i love when you post it all over the place so please continue to do that i once again i'm going to keep all that info on the screen just for a little bit so that you make sure to follow me and all that but make sure most importantly you subscribe because you don't want to miss when your pal Chef Mike does stuff, which is why I named the show that title. Anyway, we're gonna get to the cutting board. I'm gonna try to edit this so it's like super quick this part, because basically all you have to do is cut stuff up and put it in a bowl. That's what I want you to learn. And I hope by the end, after we go through this, I might have a couple extra pointers for you on how you could clean out your fridge. So let's get to the cutting board and let's get cooking. I don't know what this was all about. We're at the cutting board and I have a big bowl of cooked couscous. You boil some water, put the couscous in, turn the heat off with a lid on and let it sit for five minutes per the package instructions. That's all you got to do. I think I have about a cup and a half. Uh, well, it's probably three cups now after it's cooked. Now, one of the things I want to reiterate here is I'm throwing stuff in here. No measurements. Use what you got. Um, this is super neutral. So let's say you, you don't have this, but you got noodles. You could do the same thing and make a, a pasta salad. Let's say you don't uh, have that. You have potatoes. Now you can make a potato salad. Now you could use more like traditional noodles, like soba noodles or ramen noodles. You can literally do this, not even with starch. Maybe you want to do a bean based something or other. Just go ahead and make something awesome. Hopefully this video inspires you to do that. You don't have to make just this recipe. Putting the bowl off to the side. Now we're gonna do this part real quick. First thing I'm gonna add, I had leftover cans of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, CC beans, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I had a client, uh, did I say column? Whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I had a client that needed hummus, so I got extra chickpeas. This is probably half the can left. Put it in the bowl. Next, so these are toasted hemp hearts. You can giggle all you want, but no, it's not that kind, although it uh, kind of looks just like it. Basically, this is the inside of the, uh, the hemp seed. It is incredibly nutritious, and I actually use it all the time in pesto because it is a great replacement for those of you who are allergic to kinds of different kinds of nuts. So pine nuts, I actually never use. Even if I'm making it and the person does not have nut allergies, I still use um these because they are super delicious i toasted them in a pan so it went from that to that i'm gonna put that ah, put it all in who cares next i got leftover kalamata olives i am probably gonna cut them into quarters uh and then hey stay there knife and then put them in this bowl that looks pretty good Rogue olive. Next, I'm gonna cut up some uh, green onions here. Um, if you are not confident with your knife skills, 
You could leave this rubber band on and keep it all the way to the edge to keep all your things together. And I will usually cut about that much off. Sometimes this is a little fibrous. Compost that or whatever. And I'm gonna chop this. into the bowl. Next, I got some cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to cut them in half because I think they look very pretty in these salad. In these salad? In this salad. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, that looks about good. Now I'm gonna still use these leftover ones for stuff, but if you're trying to just use up food, then it does not matter about the proportions. Maybe it's gonna be so much vegetable that it doesn't, you know, resemble a couscous salad of any kind. Who cares? We're gonna make it delicious anyway. So I'm gonna put those to the side. These into the bowl. Next, I have leftover orange peppers. I'm gonna cut them up into kind of about the same size as this. And let's see if I still remember how to do this little trick. And then you could save the little end piece so you don't waste any. And if you got extra on there, but look at that. You could do it too. And this goes into the bowl. Sometimes I do this all the time. That's a funny thing to say. Sometimes I do this all the time, but I have a tendency not to cut all the way through. I don't know why. It just happens. You could just pull them apart or whatever. These are going in the bowl. Once again, do you only have green peppers? Well, use green peppers. Do you only have red? Do you only have roasted? Do you want to roast your own? Do you want to use chili pepper? Do whatever you want and use whatever you got. I got baby cucumber. I'm just gonna dice these to about the same size as the peppers. into the bowl. Do you only have regular cucumbers? Well, you can do that too. Do you not like cucumbers at all? Put something else in there. Classic. It's like I'm telling you to, I'm not even like teaching you a recipe. Just put a bunch of stuff in a bowl. Classic. Here's one you're gonna yell at me about. I've got extra kale and I don't normally like kale, but in something like this where it's cut up really fine, Kale, actually, I'm using it for beautiful color, but the texture is fantastic. There's gonna be salt, pepper, garlic, all the onion in there, all the other flavor, so it's not gonna taste overly like kale. So I'm putting it in there anyway. If you don't like it, don't use it. Here's also a little tip, what I like to do. Okay, that little part, that'll be tender enough. And then I just keep it layered like so. And I'm just cutting them into these cool little ribbons. The other cool thing about this kale is it obviously it's gonna hold up real nice. So it'll still be kind of crunchy, but because of the lemon juice we're gonna add and it being kind of in a moist environment, there's acid in here. Um, it is gonna get a little bit softer, but I promise you it's gonna be delicious. Kale into the bowl. I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic, uh, minced. You could add a whole lot more. You don't have fresh garlic, put garlic powder. You don't like garlic powder or garlic flavor, don't put garlic things in the thing if you don't like it. Here's an advanced trick some of you may have seen. If you don't wanna use one of those garlic presses, you got your piece of garlic. Now, very careful, you pay attention. I'm turning the knife upside down and I'm using this dull side. Basically, let me show you. Okay, with one pass through, it's basically minced almost all the way. So after you do that, I just do a couple like so, and look it. That's minced garlic of whatever. Do you see how fast I do it? A lot of people will type cut, do all this stuff, but if you actually use the other side of the knife when you're cutting, you're actually just like crushing it, you're mashing it. Um, if you are Italian, you will see uh, a lot of Italian chefs will like mash the garlic on the cutting board to release a lot of the flavor. 
it's all about surface area, but you could just do this and avoid um, all that ridiculous time. So how about I just do it now? I'm not even gonna cut. Hey, Chef Mike, the editor, don't even cut. Just show people how easy this is. Three cloves of garlic, just like that. I'll give it just a little extra. Into the bowl. Before I juice this lemon, I am going to put some lemon zest into this red. Make sure you take the sticker off. I guess I should have done that. I got a microplane. As you can see that little lemon zest, all right? Lemon zest. You don't wanna go down any further than that. The white part's kind of bitter. The outside rind, the zest that we're trying to get is very like lemon candy flavor, which is delicious. So if you use that and mix it with actual lemon juice as well, it gives you like a more delicious, intense lemon flavor profile. So that's why I'm doing it. Just like so. Now, people roll the lemons on the counter to kind of loosen the uh, juice little pod guys in here. So you can or can't do that if you want. Watch out for seeds. You can do this. And how about I just make it simple for you guys? I'm going to reach under here in my cabinet thingamabobber. <coughs> Now I got a big lemon here, so I might just start off with half, but squeeze the heck out of it. There is a lot of vegetable in here, so I'm not worried about using a whole half of a lemon. The noise here, you ready? Here we go. Delicious. Okay, keep the other half of the lemon to use later or when we taste this at the end we may need to make some adjustments next i have some extra asiago cheese if you like parmesan use that if you like mozzarella use that if you got uh queso fresco use that if you are looking to make this vegan don't add the cheese it's that simple i think on my little microplane here i'm going to use this side i do like a lot of cheese in it you can see what kind of ribbons it makes think about how much of the salad you're making like because i cut up so many vegetables there's a whole lot so feel free to be generous with this cheese also if you're using a microplane or a grater that's really fine like compared to a big chunk that's not a whole lot you see how much i actually use there so we can always add more cheese later next because this isn't seasoned and think about how much stuff we have in here lots of pepper not a whole lot of salt, but a good amount of salt. Last thing I'm gonna add until I taste it and maybe add some more stuff, which I will get a fork ready for, is olive oil. I don't want this swimming in olive oil, but you do wanna put a good amount in there because there's a lot of stuff and we want olive oil kind of coated uh, around all the little things in here. So now we mix. Now we mix. Look at all the stuff. Look at all the colors. Look at all the nutrition in here. This is very different now. This is very healthy. However, if you are on a uh, calorie deficient diet, if you are looking to reduce calories, this might not be the best option just because the, uh, the calories in the couscous, we're adding olive oil to it. Now those are the olive oil is the least healthy fat. The couscous, like any pasta, is calorically dense with carbohydrates. So maybe you might want to replace the couscous with something a little even healthier, like a, um, a brown rice or some kind of rice, maybe quinoa, maybe something that has a little more fiber to it. But you do you. Look at how beautiful this is. It smells amazing. If you've got fresh herbs, now is the time to add it. I don't have any with me. If you want to add other whatever you got into it, into this, just do that. I know that's not very helpful, but what are you going to do? Okay, now I'm going to taste it. Mm-hmm. More olive oil. More salt. 
Ooh, that is very tasty. Do I need more lemon juice? Um, let me do this first. Mix it up. I think I'm gonna want just a touch more lemon juice. And maybe some more cheese. That's what I'm gonna do. This time I'm just gonna use my hand to make sure no seeds get in. Keep that on the side, cause we may need more. More cheese. Like I said, this is, other than this cheese, this is vegan. This is also, if you are vegan, very healthy because there's a lot of protein in this. Not only because of the chickpeas, but those hemp hearts we used are actually chock full of protein and fats and nutrients as well. So this would be a very good, uh, delicious, broad, nutritious, delicious meal. I said delicious like seven times. And I think we are done. I do have to, look at how much food this is. I'm just cleaning out my fridge and basically for things I was gonna either throw away or try to use in some, I made a big old thing of couscous. So that's awesome. I'm gonna go put this on a fancy plate and take a fancy picture of it. And then I'm gonna eat it and do the usual spiel. And just like that, you have made yourself a delicious use up all the vegetables and stuff you have at your home couscous. And I just put it on this awesome plate that my pals at Libby, thank you once again, sent me. So I've got a cool, uh, a whole stack of cool plates I can use. Now, this is pretty photogenic. It's beautiful, a lot of colors, but like you put it in a bowl and there's not much food styling you could do, but I think I took some awesome pictures. Hopefully you guys like, did I hit my microphone? Did you, did you, did I hit it? I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, how about I try some? Even though I did try some earlier because I needed to season it appropriately. Mm. Mm. What I like is, it's not salty. So I like things really salty. It's a little more on the, the less salty side because when you bite into an olive, that has a lot of that brine to it. It's like, it's like the marshmallows and Lucky Charms. Once you get one, it's like, oh wow, look at that. Everything in here is delicious. Super healthy, super filling. I need to eat more vegetables. My kids need to eat more vegetables. So hopefully this is the way to do it. And that's it, that's the whole episode. Hopefully you realize, maybe you're, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hopefully you realize that the point of this episode is not for you to copy this recipe. It's to literally use whatever you have, mix it all together, make sure when it's uh, close to done, you taste it so at least it's seasoned appropriately. Salt, maybe black pepper. Black pepper doesn't need to go in everything, but I like it. Olive oil and lemon. Those things with a bunch of other stuff mixed into it, you can just like use your fridge worth of stuff and make stuff that's awesome. So remember, if you are a brand that has food stuff, beverage stuff, or equipment shenanigans and you want to work with Chef Mike, email me at chefmikedustuff at gmail.com. This is a little easier to hold. And then make sure that you like, share, the, drop the thing. You know how pro this is? So this is the piece of paper that looks like a marble top that I take pictures on. It's actually just like paper. It's not like, I've done some with like a wood table. It's not a wood table, it's a big piece of paper. And it just fell on the ground as I was filming. And you know how I roll. I'm gonna do it once, cause that's all I got. I'm not gonna refilm everything I just said, even though that was a blunder, I don't care. Thank you once again to all the fans for liking, sharing, subscribing, um, commenting, and showing me pictures. So I do this thing called Chef Mike Rates. Usually I rate pretty well because you took the time, energy, and effort to make a thing that you wanted to show me. Of course it's gonna be 10 out of 10. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, I'll usually take a couple points off, but you do you, tag me in all the things, make sure that you post my video in all the places. Let the people know that I exist because I feel bad when I post it on places where it's like, hey, self-promotion, even though I shouldn't be self-promoting. Anyway, 
Most importantly, make sure you subscribe because you are not gonna wanna miss. Witch up my dust off! I pointed at the appropriate side, but still looked at the side without the camera. That's how pro I am. <laughs> I'm literally doing it right now, even after I just said, this is the camera, and I still look over here because that's the red uh, stop button. It's a, it's a horrible habit I need to break. So there, I'm gonna eat more. Okay, bye. Mmm.